Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today's episode, we will learn about how to select specific fields from the document, right? So we know that document is a key value pair and there can be multiple keys or many keys in a document. But often we may not need all the fields all the time when we query, right? So in order, we just need few fields that needs to be displayed. For example, if you're doing, let's say, a short search, right? You don't want to display all the fields. You just want to show the description and the link. And then when he clicks on it, probably he'll see all the details, right? So in that case, you need only few fields, not all, right? So in that use case, this is one of the good use case that we are talking about, where we are trying to select only specific keys or fields from the document. Welcome back, friends. This is MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out so that you don't have any uh, discontinuity in your learning and you have around 21 hands-on tutorials to practice and live examples. So we have covered all of these tutorials in our uh, previous episodes. Make sure you go through them so that you understand, you learn step-by-step -step MongoDB and master it. Today we are focusing on selecting fields. That's part of this particular tutorial. Again, I'll show you both uh, in Compass and in Visual Studio Code, but my focus will be on Visual Studio Code running commands because that's where the API or the logical execution of the commands will happen. All right, so how do you select fields? This is straightforward. Um, you just have to mention the field that you want to enable or you want to hide, right? Uh, you, have, you need to specify the field as one or zero. Uh, if you specify it one, it will be visible. If you specify it as zero, it will not be visible, right? And you have to use it along with find condition. So if you see, we have previously in the episode, we learned a lot of combinations with find using operators like less than, equal to, greater than, equality, and or operator. So today we'll extend and add the fields to it, right? So let's get started and we'll show you that. So, all right, so selecting fields, right? So we know how to, so what we'll do, so we know that how do you find, right? So what we write db.leads.find, this will return us all the, all the documents, right? Documents are returned, right? All documents are returned here. So you see, it will return us all the documents, all the four documents. Now I'm saying, I don't want to see all of this, right? I don't want to see all the fields of all the documents. Instead, I just want to see, let's say our document is this city, right? Tax and salary. So I just want to see the city names, right? So what we'll write, we'll write db leads.find and I'm not passing any condition. So I'm saying get all documents, right? Filter all documents now. And which, which key you want to show, right? So I'm saying here city and I'm saying one. That means get city key from all documents in the collection right that's what it means that get all the cities for all the documents inside this collection so let's run it uncaught exception so there is a which is missing what's happening here okay db.lead so just make sure you get those commands correct so now you see it's getting me when I run db.leads find city one, it is giving me ID and the city name, right? In most cases, you will require this ID, right? Uh, because it's unique, right? Uh, in most cases, you will need this underscore ID for processing needs, okay? You'll, you'll need that, like for example, click and get more data or click or delete or remove or edit, etc. etc. You need a unique value, right? And that value, right? That value is underscore ID, right? But let's say for some reason you don't want it, right? Assume that you don't want it. So, how do you remove it? So, we'll say again, find, and now here we will say city is one which means yes i want the city comma inside the second criteria will add underscore id colon zero 
that means i don't want this particular column i just want the city right let's see this now okay so now let's execute it gives only city right it is only giving me the city names that's what i want that's what my query wanted right now we can make it much more complicated also right so it can get complicated because we can use criterias right so for example like this so here i'm saying tax display tax is one right and i'm saying underscore id is zero and here we will add our condition we'll say tax is less than or equal to 30 right so see what i'm trying to show you here is you can add conditions in the here criteria but your output you're expecting that i need tax right so it is giving you only tax see tax 30 right now i'll say no i want one more column which is i want city also along with it so i'll say city colon one comma right so now it will give me tax and city of that particular place right so see city and tax right i also want the name of the person so you can say lead name colon one now done so this will give me three columns or three keys basically right so lead name city and new york uh, that is tax right so this is how we can configure the kind of output we want out of our document right usually a document will be made up of 30 40 keys but you don't need all the keys all the time right so this is another way to improve the performance this is another way to optimize your query to get faster results and get certain specific documents in the this is about selecting fields in the next episode we are going to learn an extremely important concept called projection uh, that if you happen to attend any of the mongodb interviews if you follow all my series you will be able to answer 90 percent of the questions that i've covered in this particular series make sure you have gone through all the series correctly before your interview and prepare well also do a lot of hands-on examples do drop me a note if you have any queries or any Thing that's blocking you thank you so much see you in the next episode where i will cover about projection thank you